Hey, welcome to this introduction to Easy Psych. My name is Brandon, and I'm excited to share with you this plugin that we've developed for production and for our students uh, at the Digital Media Institute. Uh, this one's really fun. It's a simple Blender 3D add-on that generates a photography background or backdrop that you typically see in those photography studios. We have two versions that you can generate. We can generate a straight psych and we can generate a corner psych. And by simply uh, tapping over to one or the other, you can um, just create a psych here. And who doesn't love a big, large monkey head here? Uh, what I can do is I can select my psych Laroma here, and I can easily just globally scale this up as much as I would like to, or scale it down, however you see fit. Also have these width sliders and this depth slider as well. I can go as far back as I would like, and I can go as high as I would like as well. And of course, the uh, curve, I can I can definitely make the curve uh, a little bit larger if I would like. And I can play with the smoothness of that curve as well. Now this simply does work with the colors. I can actually add a material here and I can make it uh, whatever color I would like. I would typically uh, start with a grayscale value and I can simply get something that looks pretty decent, right? I can play with the roughness here right in the add-on. It's pretty quick. Now, if I want a corner psych, I can just delete that and go over to the corner psych tab and I can generate a corner psych like so. And what I can do is make sure that the color also works with this one as well. And I can globally scale up the corner psych like so, or scale it down or up, however you see fit. Also have the same uh, width sliders and the depth sliders and the height. It's very, very customizable. However you see fit, um, that is what you get. It's very simple and I'm excited for you guys to try it out. Go ahead and purchase today. We would love to hear from you in the comments below. Again, my name is Brandon and I'll see you in the next one.